my message for you all is that we are one caribbean africans we are one if you look at us look at me and him we resemble i'm from the caribbean he's from africa but we are look how did we connect mm -hmm. how did we connect mm -hmm. it wasn't just by chance yeah honestly it wasn't just by chance because there's there's some there's there's a familiarity between all of us right. we have the same i don't know how to call it but there's an energy that all of us carry so let us not try to break that energy because at the end of the day you go on the next side and those people will not accept you only your people our color will accept you right Hey, guess where I am right now? I'm in a beautiful area in Calgary, away from where I did my first video. And to be honest with you, the weather is still clear. It's like they intentionally sieved the dirt out of the skies. Let me show you again. Just check it out. It's blue, white, beautiful. And I have a beautiful family here that I'm going to have a conversation. Big up yourself. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, all right. So, do you know what? I tried visiting Trinidad or the Caribbean early this year. And I applied to UK to get me a transit visa. And they refused me. But finally, I have a citizen of Trinidad and Tobago right here with me in Canada. So, hey. I'm still in Trinidad. Since I'm closer to him, I'm still in Trinidad, yes, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we've been having a conversation even before I got here. Um, I posted on face, um, YouTube that I'm in Canada. And then I saw a comment from this family. I don't want to mention the name. He's going to do that himself. But we're going to talk about a little bit about Ghana culture and then Trinidad. We all look the same, right? Yeah. No, I mean the color is the same. <laughs> I know some of you come up and say, "Why are you talking about color?" No, I'm just saying the skin color. We still we look the same. It means that we are all Africans. We are all Africans. Beautiful, I like that. So, yes. tell me your name. Tell me where you come from, and tell me just a little bit about Trinidad and Tobago. So, my name is Jamaica Lovell. I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. My family and I we go by the name of the Faith Family. So you can look us up on YouTube and subscribe to us to know more about us subscribe to our channel <laughs> but for now i'm gonna let you know that Trinidad and tobago is a beautiful island i'm originally from tobago i was born in tobago grown in tobago i lived in Trinidad. after i left tobago and then i found my wife in Trinidad, but she's jamaican so you're gonna know all about that in <laughs> when you subscribe to our channel right but Trinidad and tobago is a beautiful island beautiful beaches a lot for you to see and a lot for you to enjoy all right so one thing that he said that caught my attention was he's from no what is the difference between trinidad and tobago are they two different countries or what it's one country but two different islands they were separated by sea okay so it's one country but sea separated them and there's there they are one country mm -hmm. but same. the sea is separating them yes so before you go to the other one you need to get um Will you take a, a flight or you can car take a flight? Or? The flight is uh, um about twenty minutes. Oh, okay. And the boat is about is about three hours. Mm -hmm. Based on the type of boat, because some are faster than some, some are two hours, some are three hours. Okay. But the plane is half an hour. It's, half it's an close. Hour. Okay. Yeah. Okay. When I'm anytime we talk, I feel like you're speaking. Your English is like patwa. I don't know. Do you do you because speak patwa? I, I, no, I grew up no I grew up in Trinidad and Tobago, but I live in Jamaica for two years. So, so, you, so you can speak patwa? A, a little, little bit. bit. Yeah. Okay. I, 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 like hear, a, I, I hear like patwa every single day because I'm married to a Jamaican. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know me me I go speak. Uh ah, what do I <laughs> All right, so now um you said you left um Trinidad to I mean it's been a while you went there. Yeah. Hello, can we help you? Hello. <laughs> okay, take it out. All right. So yes, um, you said you, it's, it's been a while. You went to, I mean, you lived in Trinidad. Yes. So, where were you living before you came to Canada, and 
how was it like living Trinidad mm -hmm. to wherever you went to? So first I left Trinidad and then I lived in Jamaica for two years. Mm -hmm. And then I left Jamaica because my wife got a scholarship to the UK. So I came with her and we lived in the UK for one year. And now I am here. And what do you want to know? The difference between the UK or... Yeah, I mean, difference between Trinidad and Jamaica. Difference between Trinidad and Jamaica. I mean, what, what two or three things can you say about Jamaica that is similar to living in Trinidad? Okay. So, the similarity that we have in Jamaica to Trinidad, Trinidadians, the people, they are friendly, they are loving, mm -hmm. they are very supportive, mm -hmm. and... The similarity is the beaches too. They, okay. they say they have better beaches than us, but it's kind of <laughs> like, it's just a color. Okay. I mean, the color of the sea. The color of the sea is different. Yeah. Now, Jamaican has different color. One day I'll take you to Ghana, eh? Mm -hmm. And I'll show you our beaches, eh? you fall in love with it. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yo, if you, I know I have a lot of Ghanaians who are watching my video. Just put it up as a comment. Okay. And then tell, let him, let him know that we have the, the best beaches in the world, man. Okay, <laughs> let me don't, let me don't be biased. I don't want to be biased. To okay. be honest, Trinidad and Tobago, people might not like this, but Jamaica beaches are the best. Like, <laughs> honestly, like, for real, for real, for uh -huh. real. Green, blue, clear, yeah. any kind of color you could think about. Yes. Trinidad and Tobago is just strictly blue, mm -hmm. you know, but Jamaica, even the rivers, mm -hmm. like, all kind of different color, rainbow color, like, beautiful yeah. there there were there were a place that i was living in jamaica and when i every time i i could show you the video if i can find it mm -hmm. every time i leave and coming down that mountain it's a beautiful view you can just see the whole sea yeah. and it's i can't even describe the color it's like green and blue mix mm -hmm. it's beautiful yeah just like we have it in ghana yes we we'll say ghana <laughs> so now um like I said, I really want to visit Trinidad. Mm -hmm. What one thing will you tell me to go experience? Because there's this food. I watch this guy on YouTube. There's this food he talks about a lot of times. It's like... Um, I know it's what? Doubles. Doubles, yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, doubles. Yeah. Yeah, what doubles is that? What, nice. how, eh? what, is, nice. what is used in cooking, in fixing that doubles? So doubles, I don't know if you all know what is roti. What? Roti. Roti. Your language is speak slowly for me oh, to understand. Roti is it's like you use flour and you make a dough. Okay, okay. Doubles is similar, but doubles has chana and pepper and different sweet things inside <laughs> of it. <laughs> <laughs> you are just wetting my appetite. And, and it, you, you don't even like when you buy it, you don't mm -hmm. even want to go. You want to eat it on the spot so you could okay. buy the next one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hey. I would want to try it if you if you're from trinidad and tobago and you're watching this just put up a comment let me know if what he's saying is correct that you can't do without doubles can't i would have to try it now we're here in canada to me i'm still trying to understand how things work here yeah. do you see any difference between trinidad i mean there's a difference though i mean sure. we all just came in i mean speaking to my brother he's also here to visit you know look around and see how beautiful this place is but what so far have you experienced when you got into canada the experience here is um the weather the, 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 the weather is one and the cleanliness i love the cleanliness there's mm -hmm. a lot of bins around so for sure everybody uses their bins mm -hmm. the streets are clean you know you can walk comfortable mm -hmm. um the weather is like the sun is hot but the breeze is cold <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i can't i can't understand how so you have to wear a sweater even in the hot even sun. in the yes. hot sun yeah 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 that is that is one thing i've also realized but in ghana is like is we have like two third of the year with this sun so anytime i wake up in the morning here in canada and the sun is like this i just want to go and stand in it and have a feel of it you understand yeah. me all right did you watch my video that i posted recently yes i watched it when you, and then uh-huh when you cuss out everybody i guess I, <laughs> <laughs> was i guessing that because i was like i was i wasn't pissed i wasn't angry i just want us to sell because 
Assuming I, I go to Trinidad and things doesn't go the way I see it yeah. or the way things are done in Ghana, I'm expecting it to be done in Trinidad and I don't get it. Do I have to sit on a camera and say bad things about Trinidad? No. What is your word on the video that I I mean, your honest opinion on the video that I did? I think that that video was an eye opener. Right. It was an eye opener. He needed to do that video. He couldn't sit back and watch that happen because right. there's a lot of people doing it and they think it's okay to yeah. do that. Yeah. I wouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. I might be a little biased with the beach and stuff, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't do that. Even if I come here and leave here, I would not leave here and bad talk here. Right. You know? Yeah. Right. So what I did was just, this is just the beginning because there's a lot we can do to project ourselves as Africans. I know we have a lot of Trinidad. How, how do you call yourselves? I'm a Trinidadian. Trinidadian. Yeah. So we have a lot of Trinidadians watching this video. Some are in UK, Canada, even in Ghana. Yeah, I met a lady. I even have to talk to her. She's in Ghana. I'll call her later on. What is your message for Trinidad? All of them watching right now. <laughs> <laughs> my message, my message for you all is that we are one. Caribbean, Africans, we are one. If you look at us, look at me and him. We resemble. I'm from the Caribbean. He's from Africa. But we are. Look, how did we connect? Mm -hmm. How did we connect? Mm -hmm. It wasn't just by chance. Yeah. Honestly, it wasn't just by chance because there's there's some there's there's a familiarity between all of us. Right. We have the same I don't know how to call it, but there's an energy that all of us carry. So let us not try to break that energy because at the end of the day, you go on the next side and those people will not accept you. Only your people, our color, would accept you. Right. Beautiful. So, uh, thank you very much for checking me out. This is just a quick one to uh, me being in uh, Canada and meeting my African brothers. Yes. I wouldn't say Ghanaian brother or Trinidad. No, I say meeting my African brother. And shout out to someone special in the UK. What's her name? Olivia. Olivia. Big up yourself. You don't know. Peace.